already here, and I just saw 300 Rise of an Empire. So, basically, this is a, based on a comic called Xerxes, which is basically kind of like a pre, uh, like an origin story of, um, Xerxes, a big, tall guy with the piercings and stuff. And so, basically, this is basically like an in-between cool, in cool, whatever you want to call it, of 300, because this takes place... During 300, after 300, and before 300. It's basically like what uh, what we're going to have uh, coming out soon called X-Men Days of Future Past. So, basically, this is just non-stop violence. Violence after violence after violence. And then a sex scene with uh, Eva Green. The main character. It was a weird scene, actually. But, um... The... Everything from the swords clashing to blood splattering is good. Uh, the violence was uh, was uh, was top notch. It, it was a bit of a step up the from the first one, but it was this movie wasn't as good as the first one. I was a bit disappointed. Close the door. Stop knocking. So anyway, um. Where was I? Alright, so basically, I think this is about Leonidas' uh, father. He leads a group of uh, Greek uh, warriors to battle on these huge ships. Like, uh, all the battles are on, like, these boats in the middle of the uh, sea. And they're, they're just fighting against the Persians as they did in the first one. Except in the first one, they are on land. And now this one is in water. And, uh, there's some r really brutal death. Like, this one guy gets his face stomped in by a horse. Which is really cool to see. And, um, so, what, my problem was with this movie is that I, I, it kept going on when you feel like it was going to end. I actually took out my phone and checked the time. I was like, what, we still have ten minutes of this movie left? And, um, so, I was like, I was like, they could have ended it here, they could have ended it there, why is it still going on? It felt like Lord of the, uh, the last few minutes of Lord of the Rings and the last few minutes of John Carter. And, uh, I'm not saying that Lord of the Rings is a bad movie, but Lord of the Rings is great. I'm just saying, like, uh, I'm just saying, like, all those fake outs for Lord of the Rings just like, really? You could end it here or you could end it there. Just pick an ending. But, um, anyway, so, I give 300 Rise of the Empire... Three and a half out of five stars.